imagine a dark and stormy night, the wind howling outside, and you're nestled inside your cozy home. Suddenly there's a knock at the door. You open it, and there, standing in the cold, is a helpless child. But something feels off about this child, and a sudden dread overwhelms you. When the child lifts their head to look at you, there is no white in their eyes, only pitch black as if they are soulless. It puts you into a trance-like state, almost making you do whatever they want. If you have ever experienced this, you might have encountered one of the creepy and dangerous black-eyed children. Black-eyed kids, often abbreviated as BEKs, are a modern urban legend and paranormal phenomenon that has gained popularity in the past few decades. These mysterious entities are typically described as kids or young teenagers aged between 6 and 16 with complete black soulless eyes. They not only appear at doorsteps but also on streets and highways. They have been reported to pose as lost kids and hitchhikers only to harm those who stop out of concern for them. No one knows exactly where they come from but encountering them can be a deeply unsettling experience. Interestingly, black-eyed kids are known for their impeccable manners and politeness. They often approach their potential victims with a request for help or entry into their homes or vehicles. If you refuse to let them in or help them, they return with a stronger demand using phrases like, you have to let me in, you have to help me, or you are the only one who can help me, and so on. Those who have encountered these kids explain that most of the time, these children do not make eye contact, keeping their black eyes hidden during the initial conversation. You experience a mixed feeling of being compelled to help the child and an unexplainable fear. Once they reveal their black eyes, the urge to comply with their demands become extremely irresistible. These kids have many distinctive features that set them apart from normal children. As their name suggests, the most striking feature of black-eyed kids is their jet black eyes. Witnesses report that these eyes are completely black without any white or coloration, which is distinctly unnatural and unsettling. Black-eyed kids are often described as having extremely pale skin and their complexion is said to be eerily flawless. This is one of the reasons some believe that these creatures are a type of vampire. Witnesses have reported that black-eyed kids typically dress in hoodies to cover their faces, especially their eyes. Some also claim that they may be seen wearing clothes that are old-fashioned or seemingly inappropriate for the time period, adding to their overall eerie appearance. They are also said to have an inhuman way of talking and use a strange tone when speaking, leaving a chilling impression. Most of the time, these kids emerge in the dead of night. Even if they do appear during the day, it's often in desolated places and lonely roads. They may appear at a person's home late at night, asking to be let in, or they might knock on a car window or front door, seeking assistance or a ride home. In rare cases, these kids appear in groups. When they do appear in groups, some witnesses have claimed that they attempted to kidnap them. No one really knows the motives behind these kids. Are they really here to scare the humans or is it something else? The victims who do tell their stories are the ones who refused the request of the black-eyed kids and managed to escape from them. No one who has given in to their wishes has yet come forward with their story of what really happened to them. We can only imagine that the worst has occurred and they have not lived to tell their tale. So the motivation of the black-eyed kids remains a mystery. Some argue that black-eyed kids are ghosts, while others claim they are demons, vampires or practitioners of evil magic. There is also a group who thinks that black-eyed kids may be a form of alien-human hybrid sent to observe or interact with humans. This theory draws parallels to alien abduction encounters. Another theory suggests that a person becomes a black-eyed kid after their death if they kill their parents. The fear associated with black-eyed kids is a significant aspect of this phenomenon. Those who have experienced these encounters often report feeling of dread, anxiety, and an intense desire to flee from the presence of these entities. 
One of the earliest written accounts of the black eyed kid comes from the journalist Brian Bethel, who shared his chilling experience in a 1998 article on a ghost related internet forum. After this article was published, many people came forward with their own experiences, and black eyed kids started to receive a lot of attention. In his account, Brian describes an encounter in 1996 when two kids approached his car in a parking lot asking for a ride. Brian's stories have become regarded as classic examples of creepypasta, which is a horror related legend shared around the internet. This story gained such popularity that he published an FAQ just to keep up with the demand for more information about the urban legend. It's important to consider that Brian Bethel is actually a news reporter, not a fictional writer, so truth and accuracy are crucial in his line of work. Therefore, it's difficult to argue that Bethel made up the story. The experience he shared in his post is very convincing and doesn't appear to be fabricated. And also, his story has not benefited his credibility as a reporter, so there is no gain for Brian in making up this story. And the story is so convincing, so many argue that Brian's experience is real. As for his experience, one night he went to a local branch of his internet service provider to pay his bill. He intended to leave a check in their night slot, so he drove by the local theater on the way and pulled into an empty parking space to write his check. Suddenly two boys around the age of 10 and 14, wearing pullover hoodies, knocked on the driver's side's window. Brian opened his window slightly and one of the boys asked for a ride back home saying they wanted to watch the movie Mortal Kombat but had left their money at home. Brian describes feeling a consuming sense of fear and otherworldliness. He also realized that the movie had started playing an hour before and it was the last showing of the evening. The two kids persisted, trying to persuade him to let them into the car, saying they can't get in until he gave them permission. This is when Brian noticed their eyes and his hand unintentionally moved toward the door lock and was in the process of opening it. Realizing what he was doing instantly, he pulled his hand away without opening the door and this action broke the eye contact with the kids. He quickly drove away and when he checked through the rear view mirror, the kids were gone and the sidewalk by the theater was empty. After this story, a lot of witnesses came forward as well with their own experience of black-eyed kids. A psychological explanation for some encounters suggests that black-eyed kids could be a manifestation of sleep paralysis or night terrors. This theory proposes that the eerie experiences are products of the mind, particularly during moments of vulnerability such as during sleep. Some argue that black-eyed kids phenomenon results from a mass hysteria wherein the power of suggestion and shared experience can create a collective belief in their existence. The legend of the black-eyed kids is a puzzling and unsettling phenomenon that continues to captivate the imagination of many. The origins of the phenomena remains hidden in the mystery, but encounters with black-eyed kids consistently share certain characteristics, including the presence of children with entirely black eyes, pale skin, unusual behavior, and an overwhelmingly sense of fear. Numerous theories attempt to explain the black-eyed kids phenomenon, ranging from the psychological explanation like mass hysteria and sleep paralysis to paranormal theories involving demonic entities and aliens. While skeptics often dismiss black-eyed kids' encounters as mere urban legends or product of overreactive imagination, believers find the accounts deeply unsettling and suggestive of a reality beyond the ordinary. Whether one views the black-eyed kids as a fascinating urban legend, a psychological phenomenon, or a genuine paranormal occurrence, the mystery surrounding their existence persists. The encounters and reports of black-eyed kids serve a reminder of the profound impact that folklore and legend can have on our collective consciousness and our enduring fascination with the unknown. What do you think of this story? Please let me know what you think and share this video with a friend you think might like it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you again with another story to tell.